Hi, everybody. I'm Kim Skates, Membership Relations Manager at Central Houston, and I am here today with Kelly Wheeler, Vice President of Transwestern, Senior Property Manager at Bank of America Tower. Um, Kelly, thank you so much for hosting me today. I am coming to everybody from the Conference Center at Bank of America Tower, and it is gorgeous, I have to say. Thanks, Kim. Pleasure to be with you today. Glad to have you. And I will just show everybody, this is part of the conference center that I'm in, and this is the view. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's pretty great. Kelly, um, tell us about the conference center. So the conference center at Bank of America Tower is one of the uh, many amenities that the developer uh, thought to uh, build right into the building when we opened in 2019. Um, it's about 10,500 square feet. It's got three venues. One of the greatest features is that we can offer a very large meeting space for our tenants to have um, meetings and events uh, all hours of the day. So it's got all the AV technology you would expect in a facility of this uh, tier. And uh, it's, it's been very well used by our tenants as they've moved in. We're looking forward to getting them back into using it full time. It's beautiful, so I am not surprised. Um, tell us where you are. So I'm actually outside uh, in what we call the Sky Park. This is our um, outdoor terrace. Uh, it is on the top of the parking garage here at Bank of America Tower on level 12. Uh, it's got a floating um, look to it. So if you can see behind me, uh, it's just kind of doesn't even really feel like you're in the sky, but I'm out here with over 30,000 plantings of native plants, um, very well thought out and designed. It, it reminds me of Houston's natural ecosystems along the bayous. It's, it's, very, um, it's very green and, and we try to keep it uh, looking nice for all of our tenants. Um, we've got Wi-Fi out here, music, lighting. Again, this is another area where our tenants love to come and host their events, networking events, recruiting events. And on days like today, it's great to be able to come out here and get some work done. It's a perfect day for that. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned that uh, this is one of downtown's newest buildings. Uh, what else can you tell us about the building? So the building uh, opened in 2019. Uh, it is LEED version four, platinum core and shell certified. It's one of the largest projects of that designation. Um, we also earned the Fitwell designation last year in 2020. Uh, 2020, first year of the building in full operation. We also um, were able to earn a platinum designation from Wired Score, which is a, a connectivity-related um, designation. Um, so it's been it's been a busy couple of years of getting everybody moved in and, and getting all of the uh, wonderful things that are built into the building recognized. But um, that's that's what we've been working on. So, what other trends, design trends, were incorporated into the building? Well, uh, you know, we have uh, destination dispatch elevators tied in with our access control system. So there's a lot of integration and innovation going on in the technology arena. I'm sitting out here outside talking to you right now. So just little things thought ahead as far as technology goes. Um, but Bank of America Tower is one of the most sustainable buildings in the world. Um, there are some unique sustainability features built into the building. Uh, we've got a 50,000 gallon rainwater harvesting tank down in the basement, uh, and that allows us to use reclaimed water to flush our commodes and irrigate the plants up here in the Sky Park. Uh, we've got a couple of mechanical units that actually pre-cool the outside air before it comes in. So we're able to run the building very, very efficiently. Um, and I, I think that might be, I think that might be the things that were on the top of my list. That's a lot. Yeah, I, I think so too. You mentioned the Fitwell certification. I know you guys were one of the first buildings in downtown Houston to get that. What can you tell us about that certification? Uh, so that's a nationwide certification program, and it really focuses on the health and productivity of the building occupants and their guests. Um, there are 12 categories, I believe, that you can be scored on. Uh, it's a three-star rating system, so Bank of America Tower earned three out of three stars. Uh, but things like daylighting, access to the outdoors, um, uh, ingress and egress, uh, transportation, things like that are all Part of the consideration and it's again it's really focused on health and wellness and productivity for the occupants of the building 
So right now, downtown Houston has just under 20% of its regular occupants coming into the office every day. Uh, what safety protocols have you all put in place to help people feel comfortable and be healthy? Uh, so much like a lot of my counterparts down here in downtown, we, we have a very comprehensive program with everything from administrative controls, like masking. Uh, we do screen contractors as they come into the loading dock. Um, we've got signage all over the place and, and more hand sanitizer than you could ever wish for. Uh, but I think communication is probably the biggest piece. Um, so in addition to all of those administrative um, and engineering controls that we've made um, based on the recommendations of the authorities, uh, we also uh, have worked really hard to communicate with our tenants and, and try to keep a two-way conversation going so that we can understand what their needs and concerns are and address those. So as downtown continues to recover, do you have any predictions on when you think we might be back to prime time? Well, uh, I'd like it to be uh, yesterday, I think, but, um, you know, I think everyone has their own thoughts. I think um, it makes a lot of sense to think as vaccinations are rolled out and more and more people continue to get vaccinated, we'll start to see some of our larger companies um, making a decision to bring their folks back to the office. And I think once we see one or two of those, uh, maybe some more will follow. But as of right now, I think most people are still taking it you know, month to month and even some week to week. Uh, but I'm hopeful that later this year, as, as more vaccinations roll out, we might see some, some more hustle and bustle. I hope so too. Yeah. Um, so we are grateful to have Bank of America Tower as a Central Houston member this year. Why did you think it was important to be involved with the organization? Well, I've been downtown uh, managing office buildings for 15 years and I uh, admire the organization and I see the work that happens because of the organization. Um, communication and collaboration, I think are a lot of what helps make our city so successful um, amongst the stakeholders here in downtown. So, um, you know, I think uh, just having a seat at the table and, and being able to volunteer and help and, and offer, um, you know, our insight on, on what this part of the neighborhood is seeing is, is helpful for everybody. So I think it's a mutually beneficial uh, relationship for sure. So you and I have talked before about how much you love the downtown community. Before we go, tell us your favorite thing about downtown. So I, you know, obviously the office buildings, I, I love looking at the skyline, but you know, having, had the privilege to be part of the community for so many years, seeing the evolution of um, the city, you know, this being a place where a few hundred thousand people come to work and then go home. Now seeing all the residents coming in and, and the engagement and the intentional programming that's going on um, and really just changing the feel so that everybody can, can do more than just work downtown. Um, I, it's just a privilege to be part of it. And, and I think that evolution is really my favorite part. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. Um, I am just tempted to hang out in the conference center for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> fantastic here. I love it. And the building is great. And I really appreciate um, you showing it off to Central Houston. So thank you. And thank, to, thank you to all of you for tuning in today. And we will see you downtown soon. Bye. Thanks, Kim. Bye.